No hey, today I'm going to be showing you guys how Ares' Mr. Fantastic music video was made. So this video was directed by Ares. Um, if you haven't seen it, I recommend you go watch that and then come back and watch this. Or you could do it vice versa. Uh, you know, it's really up to you. Alright, so there's two main locations for this music video. There's the Rusty Barn and the uh, beachside basketball court. Unfortunately, there is no beach basketball courts around, but I do have a school nearby where I can find a shed and a basketball court. So we're gonna do that. As for the characters of this video, we've got Ares, Slade, and the mysterious guitar man. Now first for Ares, we gotta get a striped shirt like this, a doom chain, and a pair of jeans. But when I was filming, I was in such a rush that I only brought the shirt. As for Slade, we need somebody who really embodies uh, someone that's coming right through about to hit your specific, that's also living on the west coast, uh, on the Pacific. So we're gonna need that real frati line and type beat. So we've got a baseball cap, club master sunglasses, and of course, a white striped t-shirt. Then finally we have the guitar man uh, which has a sun hat, some sunglasses, and a bandana. But I forgot all of those. But it doesn't matter though because he only shows it for like three seconds. Filming is pretty simple. Um, it's all handheld shots and it's just focused on like Aries and Slade. Now this was my first time having a cameraman so I didn't really know how to direct the person yet but we're getting there. I also got incredible stage fright because there was uh, like a family and a guy smoking a cigarette in both of the shots. So if you look very carefully, you can see that I don't have even a fraction of the energy or movements that Ares had, um, or Slade. I also rewrote the entire song like an hour before I started filming, so even though Finnish is my first language, I kind of maybe forgot a couple of words. But that's okay, because we can save it in the- All right, now on to the fun part. Let's, uh, let's open up DaVinci Resolve here. Okay, let's start with my favorite effect. Just watch that. You see that? How he just wah! Wow! Come on! So this is the shot of me getting out of the car, and then I have the shot that I'm about to overlay. So what I did was I went to the color tab. So you can see that there's there's two of these little window things here. So I have one that's gonna go in vertically and the other that's gonna go horizontal. And so I animated each specific keyframe for that. So look that up. It's amazing. I love that effect. So for this, in DaVinci Resolve, there's built-in video transitions. So I just took this oval iris. So I feathered, I feathered the edge in here, which you can see there. And then I just made it zoom out at about the same rate. This font, this is Zingenda. Write that down, write that down. So this font, it's called Poplar. Shout out Barbara Lind for that font. So then there's this 3D model of a hand. This one took a while. Found a hand model thing. I screen recorded the preview of it rotating flipped it around, chroma keyed out the thing, cropped it. Yeah, I just changed the tint. I animated the keyframe to have it zoom out. Very fun effect. Now you're gonna see a little bit more of that. And then this is, uh, so this gameplay. Yeah, I just typed mirror and then I was able to like flip it around. So now we have this 3D Mario. I also, I did the same thing as the, the hand. Found a 3D model online screen recorded it so i had to do learn how to do a repeating pattern in davinci basically you just crop it you like zoom it out and then you make sure that you wrap the edges um, there's tutorials on how to do this and then i just messed it with the the color to make it similar so we've got this uh, game over screen i just googled like game over insert coins to continue this came up what i do for like freezing it like this basically you just like export and freaking current frame is still and then you just pop it in there this transition i did the same thing the little cut your wide type stuff. So I just animated the specific keyframe so you can see it opens up and I just ignore that other keyframe. You should you should look into animating windows like that. It's a very cool effect. And then for this Kaloti, I found this image curve cut like this whole thing. And then I individually animated each frame to have it be like around my head. Luckily it's not that long, but um, I like that effect. And then I took the same flames and did the same trick with the Mario that I did for this. Crop it to like make it space out in a specific way. And then I transformed it to zoom it out. Make sure you got the edges wrap. That's what makes it repeat like that. So you can see it goes like, if you zoom out all the way, it goes like that, which is cool. But we only need four. So let's relax. And then we got <laughs> these little <laughs> Googled like chocolate. I just realized it's not actually chocolate vanilla in the music video. Go to the video, that doesn't look like chocolate and vanilla at all. That's like red velvet and strawberry. How are we letting this guy go free? Um, but yeah, so I found that. Did the same old trick 
crop transform, man. I'm telling you, that's where it's at. Did the same effect for this guy when he's entering in. Also notice I've got the warm colors and like the, the cool colors that makes like the transition more seen. Like if it was just normal colors, it would just kind of like blend in because then it would be like the shed would be the same color on both frames. All right. So now we got this effect. You just have this video. It's just me falling down and like, and then you take this one, change clip speed, and then you reverse it. So then he bounces back into place. So it's like, wah, copy and paste that until the shot's over. And then, <laughs> so then he has like this rotate charmander model couldn't find that so i just found this green screen uh like 3d model of charmander oh and i also pixelated it which i did by going to mosaic blur yeah and revolve resolve fx blur turned up the pixel frequency because it was a little pixelated yeah i just like drag these around until it's purple so i am not an expert um same little like animating the the window effect for this and then we've got this one you see i duplicated this video and what i did was i just made the whole thing blurry so i just made a little window what i did was i actually used tracker which I didn't even know existed, but I just bumped it in there and I just pressed this little button. Worked perfectly. So there's tutorials for that. Uh, then we got this classic, the classic hand to camera transition. So if we go frame by frame, we can see boop, 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 going towards the camera. And then you can see the instant it switches. But it just happens so quick that you don't even notice it. Look at that. That's so clean. Look at that. Are you serious? How is that not the cleanest transition ever? Come on. Boom. Just, gah, just, wah. So for this basketball court scene, I also changed color grading because in this shed scene, you see it's more cool colors. But for this, I made it more warm. Literally not a single science to this. I literally just go, hmm, I want it to be warmer. And then I just change the saturation, the temperature. I'm like, all right, that looks good. Then we got the repeating brain. Same old trick. Found this little brain model. Screen recorded, rotated it, ba-boom, popped into fusion type beat. Um, this is my favorite 3D model, which on sketchfab is just called yo like in all caps with like 16 o's and it's by Kale perkele so shout out to that guy so what i did was i i made four different copies of this little hati vati you can animate it so that it's like at this position it'll be very zoomed out but then you can animate it to be like okay at this position, it should be this zoomed out with that position. This one, this is another animation, very good thing to learn. Oh, this effect. So it's a it's a more improved version of that like boomerang thing we saw with the guitar guy. And you just say, change clip speed. You just press freeze frame, freaking creates a freeze frame for you. And then you just reverse it. And then we got the same effect and you can see the color grading's different. So wah just like what we did the boomerang effect again uh and then we got the freaking ending credits font which was actually just a variation of the slinky font on pixelart.com except i went in and i individually changed the letters to make it more like the font from the video uh, that was incredibly time consuming i believe i have a clip of when i realized i had to uh, change that font what? but eventually i finished it as the other clip shows and then finally, the final touches of this whole music video. Uh, so we got the film dust effect. I just screen recorded it and I just went to composite. And I click composite mode, screen. And then finally, we got the adjustment clip, which we added the vignette effect just to make that a little bit, the last bit of texture. That's what these last two things is, it's texture. Cause without it, it looks just, you know, it's just all flat. But then you go, you click vignette, look at that. You're immersed. You're immersed in the Aries experience. So yeah, that was how Aries' Mr. Fantastic music video was made. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the educational journey that you've just embarked on, be sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments which music video you'd like to see next. Keep in mind, I only have like a week to do a music video and also zero budget. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Can't do no, uh, can't do no God's plan. But then you can make Aries disappear. And it's like, wait, <laughs> this is just like real life.